Hello and welcome to today's Daily Dominion by Holtz. So we're on a Sunday, Easter Sunday, so happy Easter everyone. Um, this will be your yeah, full random. And certainly empires, we have landmarks. So uh, yeah, I'll do these two and then we, we flip over. Um, so orchard, yeah, this is, um, I kind of really like it because um, it incentivizes to get you action cards, which in most kingdoms you, you want anyway. And then if you have three or more copies of, you get four VP as a reward. If you have more than three copies, it doesn't matter. You will only get the four um, VP. Yeah, one question um, people sometimes ask is, um, what about rotating piles? Well, rotating piles, um, yeah, we have one here. So five settlers, five bustling villages. So you, st you will still need three settlers for this to trigger, but a rotating pile like this one, where you have two action cards, uh, you can get eight VP off this pile. And a normal pile will only ever give you four VP from Orchard. And that's one consideration. And the other one is the competition is higher. Because if you have a pile with 10 identical cards, and here you only have a pile two of two fives, or five each, then uh, yeah, you might want to snatch uh, those three copies before your opponent can, from piles that you want multiple copies of, obviously, where, where the cards are valuable for your deck. And this is certainly true here, so I can easily imagine we try to grab, without having looked at the rest of the kingdom, but... Um, to grab th um, three bustling villages and three settlers just to get or squeeze out the AVP. And then baths, yeah, this is kind of the, the opposite because it, it rewards you if you do nothing. So if you just have a, yeah, a warm, mild bath um, and relax, so you don't gain um, any card during your turn and then you get a reward of two VP. So yeah, most often this is not worth getting, but there is turns where, yeah, for example, you don't want the silver for your engine. You have three left um, and then you just don't buy anything and you get the reward. Normally you would still do it even without the reward. So I'm never really actively chasing this unless there is kingdoms with single buy where there's no plus buy in the kingdom and no other gaining options. Then you might yeah, more strategically treat buffs, but in a normal uh, kingdom where you can create an engine or build towards an engine, it just slows you down too much if you just keep um, gaining cards during your turns. So, yeah, that's a kind of forward on buffs. And then the larger kingdom. So, yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah, you see all different expansions. This is Prosperity, yeah, Cornucopia Guild, Seaside, Adventures. Empires. Well, empires we knew um, it was in the kingdom. So then menagerie and plunder even. And then the hunting party also from Cornucopia Guilds. A very nice mix, I think. I like this a lot. Um, yeah, you should always try to look for the power cards in a kingdom first and then analyze sort of the implications and how good you can leverage their power. And one of those is Merchant Guild, for example with stacking coffers. So if you see Merchant Guild, yeah, you need to find the actions and um, the um, the draw to actually play multiple copies of Merchant Guild. That's when the real power kicks in. Treasure Trove is a strong power card for money-ish kingdoms. So where there is basically little draw, or no draw, no trashing, etc., then the Treasure Trove is very valuable. Here, we, I, can, I could even see a combination because you play the Merchant Guild first, and then this gives you a gold and a copper, but also two coffers. So that's quite um, interesting here. So let's let's do the check that I just described. So we said Merchant Guild needs draw. Well, we have Hunting Party, we have Map Maker, Magnate potentially, Vault even, a little bit less draw. And then the critical point is the plus actions, and these are the bustling villages. Yeah, I should show them in the larger view here because it's the only village without any burden on you that gives you three actions. So yeah, if we want to play Merchant Guild, we will need minimum one bustling village. 
if we want to use this um, for building towards a mega turn. So I think that would be my goal here to build towards a mega turn um, with stacked coffers from Merchant Guild. And then we have enough buys through Merchant Guild, Scrap, potentially Farmer's Market uh, to buy like five, six provinces maybe in one turn. Could even be only four provinces. And if we have the Orchard Points, we already win um, from that if the AI hasn't got equally, hasn't accumulated an equal amount of Orchard Points. Yeah, and my open, I think it's just double scrap, probably. Uh, you could do like silver scrap or even settler with this, you know, getting this pile empty in three copies. But I think the two VP don't really matter and the trashing um, will matter quite a bit later to more easily get to your merchant guilds. And then, yeah, if the scrap just hits crap in a way, like coppers, uh, coffers, coppers, then we might even take a bath. Um, tactically, yeah, they open map maker. I mean, I can see that being worthwhile. Yeah, here the question is if we if we try like a plus card and plus buy and we just get two settlers. I mean, it's also good to take a silver and a horse because we want to hit five. There's quite a few good options here. We could also do plus one and a plus buy. Then we are we are safe on the. Yeah, I think I like this two settler idea. The, the the issue is if we then get the settlers on the first hand in the new shuffle, then they they don't draw. They we don't hit five. Then. But I think we can delay the hitting five by one more turn, but not more. One more shuffle. I mean, sorry. Mm, they might then get a pirate and then the the province pretty quickly. Uh, and I want to kind of want to make sure I see my my second scrap. It's five out of seven cards. Yeah, so there's two seventh. That's like thirty percent. That's a little much for you to bottom deck, for my taste. If my mouth is right here. Um, I think I do, anyways, I do the the silver and horse just because I think it's more important to hit five on the next shuffle. And then we might just get, well, it's a third scrap or um, <laughs> it's not totally stupid or it is a set loss. I mean, we have the silver now or it's another silver. I think I kind of like actually not just one more silver and then it's also because if they get the pirate yeah this is a little bit sad that we don't line up stuff here I think I just get nothing well the silver is sort of a third of a VP um, sorry a third of two VP so um, it's like 0 0.6 VP in a way now let's let, let, let's get the settlers yeah yeah and here, I think we, so we trashed, yeah, I think we should draw. And probably, I mean, if we draw copper, fine. Yeah, probably just the action, just in case. I mean, it's one ninth. Get another horse. Well, no, we could see the horse and then we are sad. So it's two cards out of nine, which, so let's do this. Yeah, okay. And the settlers. Oh yeah, that it, so it was it was definitely correct that way. Unless you skip the the draw entirely and you pick other stuff. Now the question is what are we getting? We will need a little bit of payload and we know that we are not drawing the estate down there with the scrap, which is the crap I mentioned initially where you don't really draw. I mean, I can easily see getting one pirate. I just don't know if it's better than the treasure trove. Probably not. Or a hunting party at this stage. Because we still have an estate hanging around. We won't need that many hunting parties. Um, and if we get two or three of same villages, we could actually add a magnate. And then the treasure trove certainly looks better than the pirate. 
let's do this okay they this is um not good what they're doing i think yeah we are trashing i don't think we need the merchant guild right now we just trash and get another settlers this is a little bit draining this pile because the ai doesn't seem to be pursuing that yeah here i think we are ready for the merchant guild <clears throat> yeah and now we get yeah i want seven is that possible um no there's no horse down there it's probably another copper so we are not hitting seven but then we just buy this which is by these uh, settlers, right? For three. Or do we want, do we simply want action plus one? No, that, that ends up with a four. Then we are better off like this. Yeah. I mean, here we could not trash, or we could trash the silver. Did we get, I forgot if we bought the merchant guild, we did. So now we are over terminal. So I think then I just want this other settler. Yeah, now we have our four VP from Orchard. Oh, and I told, I, I talked bullshit. This is the third, it was a third of four VP. So yeah, here we are not trashing. We are getting this bustling village, yeah. And now we need one, two, three. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, now we need hunting party. It's probably two of them. Yeah, because we go into the shuffle and I want, yeah, that to maximize the chance we... Okay, they, they bath at this, like turn 11 bath, Jesus. Um, this is nine, so it's probably bustling village and map maker. Or another merchant guild and map maker. It's a little bit more aggressive. <clears throat> but I certainly want to line up one plus buy, and the scrap can be plus buy if we trash a silver or some other yeah, card other than copper. It could also be like one farmer's market here, but it's it's it really feels like a distraction. Mm. Well we can just empty uh, they have three cards of something. Map makers. Well, we don't worry about that. We are not greening anytime soon. So let's just do bustling village and map maker, I think, at this stage. Yeah. Mm. We'll get three map makers, three hunting grounds, three merchant deals, three bustling villages, three settlers. Uh yeah. Oh yeah, they, they even switched. Yeah, we should get this bustling village. This is great. Huh? They are drawing like, I mean, this is a bit luck here. They are lining up nicely. Yeah, this is what I meant. Now we have to, I think we just draw and do the plus buy. And no action, a plus buy and get a horse, I suppose. Could also be magnate territory here. Um, let's do this. Oh yeah, we didn't find the merchant guild. It's the bottom card sad mm. okay i'm not i'm not well we could be trashing the gold yeah yeah oh no somehow i missed where's our merchant guild um we didn't shuffle maybe okay i mean it's it's no harm done we at least got the plus buy so we can do stuff here one yeah now we should definitely get a magnet i think because we have so many coppers hanging around. I mean, it could be two map makers, but is it better than one magnet? Spending the, mm. it could also be just another merchant guild and then to really make sure we find one and then yeah, we have like seven coppers probably. We played the guy. How about we also have a horse and 
Mm -hmm. I could also see hunting party and another scrap. Yeah. Or hunting party farmer's market. No, that's eight. I mean, we have eight, but hmm. what's what's the best? I don't know. I would love to take like a life vote or something. I should do a live game soon. And then just see if people want to join. And then we can, I think we can do these kinds of things now with Discord stream and then have a vote on there or something. Then I'm just not using OBS. I'm going to stream. Um, mm. Hunting party is, is, is a bit passive, but it's also points, mm -hmm. which is not like super critical. Let's get another hunting party. It's maybe a bit over cautious here, but fine. Yeah. Yeah, we should soon be piling actually. Yeah, they are now getting three farmers markets. All right, man. Do that. Let's do the map maker and then we play the setters later if we dash the coppers. Yeah. Mm, another one. Yeah, we certainly trash this silver. I think it's a plus buy. Yeah, I mean, here we are not trashing the gold, I think. We're just trashing the copper. <coughs> Merchant Guild, and it's probably a hunting party. It could be a magnate. I mean, which will be a powerhouse draw. We only have one bustling village left down there. There, this is so many actions. Let's do a one magnate, mm -hmm. and we'll skip the coppers. We can draw them, and then the magnate is just drawing dig. And then we have like two merchant guilds. We get a third one. We probably buy. I mean, let's see if they start greening, and then they uh, we can just add map makers. We have one at this stage. Yeah, I ha I'm happy to give them the. Farmer's Market's points. I'm not going to bother with Farmer's Market at all. No. <laughs> yeah, they are really keen to get these 4VP, apparently. Um, okay, now the turn is over. Did, I, it's interesting they didn't get any money. They have Pirate normally and Treasure Trove. I'm really surprised by the play. So we might have confused them. They will... Uh, what did they add? Uh, yeah, that's reasonable. I mean, a merchant kid is a little late. Yeah, but here, I mean, we are playing them now, but then we are holding back any others. Uh, I think we even play the horse here first. Because then a, a map maker could discard settlers. I think we have only three settlers. And then we could draw the settlers with passing village. Mm. Yeah, no, we, there is no more. Okay, so we are not exactly drawing deck, but one buy and I think one horse for the future. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, here's the magnet. Do we treasure copper? I don't know. I actually want to prefer another buy probably. Do we trash a gold again? Mm, no. Well, mm, it's not totally stupid. I think it's actually quite good. <laughs> it was not really on my on my. I mean, we could also trash horses, but I I definitely prefer. We don't need those golds. I mean, they are they are here. This is adding huge payload. So one. Um, and I think it's just two hunting parties. And then we play two more turns. 14, yeah, 16 turns is a little bit much. Uh, yeah, when if I knew when they start would start greening, I would add map makers over hunting parties. But I just don't know exactly. Like three map makers seems totally reasonable at this stage of the game. But then if they don't green, hmm. how about two map makers in one hunting party? Yeah. 
or even another merchant guild. We can play one more, but we don't. We won't need it. We'll have enough AP. One, two. Mm. Yeah, the farmers market is just not worth getting. They get their full VP and then let's let's get another. Okay. Good. Yeah, this is a nice start for them. So this turn they get full VP. They get little payload. I mean, they don't have any gold. I think we trashed like uh, two golds. Yeah, we might not trash our gold this time. I mean, the buys were fine, but I don't even know if we used our last buy. Um, yeah. I mean, this is totally safe play. I could have played more aggressively, I think. Like getting more merchant kills earlier and stuff, but this is just the way, you know, you draw, take at a very high likelihood, and then you just continue. It's even more than line linearly. I mean, you, you certainly see the spike here now with 12 coffers stacked. Um, but it, for, for a while, it felt a bit a bit linear build. But now, yeah, now we're accelerating. And if you go higher risk earlier, I mean, you see, you might see the spike earlier, but you also might see a, a significant setback or a window for the AI um, to come back from, uh, yeah, this is then we can draw this copper. Cool. Uh, let's play the horse. Busking, and now we can, yeah, not get this one. We get these two. And now we get the, yeah, now we play another map maker. Or a hunting party is also fine. Yeah, no copper dashed. Okay, cool. Sad, actually. Uh, also, no copper. Mm, okay. Play another. Yeah. If it's for copper, so we must have discarded a copper. Yeah, there is. There it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's play the magnate, right? I mean, it's drawing everything. No, it's not drawing everything. We played two settlers, yeah. Mm. Don't know. We play it now. Yeah, it's drawing everything. And then here we can just trash our silver back and forth. I think I want to keep the horse. Um, for like payload and stuff. Um, do we need action? Yeah, we need plus action, right? Plus action, plus buy. Just gave me silver back. I think it's just adding plus buys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we don't need the action, we just need plus buy, bang, and this one, and, and the silver. We draw, play our two guys. Yeah, 21, okay, and six buys. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could buy like three farmers markets and pile next turn. I think this is one province and then the rest probably just hunting parties or map makers. Yeah, this is definitely not, next turn is the last turn. 15, 16 turns. Yeah, so I mean, it's fully under control. It looks close from the BP point of view, but I mean, we didn't score uh, through normal means, which is, this is just orchard. Yeah, and we are not getting three magnates. I think that doesn't really make sense. Uh, and another merchant guild is just not needed. I mean, it could easily be for hunting parties, but then we will have a hard time to pile and win, probably. Four hunting parties and a province. Mm. But I think you, you should normally then get the points later if you know you don't need the points to avoid um, a win for them. Because it's just safer not having this stop card in your deck. So 
I mean, we could even add a vault, which would be a huge payload <laughs> this turn. Um, but it's we we won't need it. I mean, we we it's, it just won't need it. We have thirty three right now, and we will have probably. I mean, there's another gold coming in. Yeah, so let's do let's click one two. I mean, I certainly want to get them down to two more that we have the capacity to pile next turn. So we might just buy the points here and then pile. It's a little bit boring, but I think uh, I think that's it. We might trigger a few map makers, but mm. how many buys can they don't know? Well, theoretically, maybe with the farmers' markets, but they will never have the payload to finish. No, never ever. Um, I can I can safely buy another hunting party and then finish next turn. Yeah, so let's not buy green. Let's just buy another hunting party, and maybe it is the farmer's market. But they could be piling 12, 17. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many? Two farmer's markets are gone. But I, I don't understand that, to be honest. So they trashed one to scrap. Because they only got 4 VP, I think, from one farmer's market. So they have three farmers markets and one scrap. That's four, five games. Yeah, and they already have map maker points. So if we get the hunting party, we'll save. And there's another scrap. But we don't need it. I think it's just, well. <laughs> mm. Why not? Another scrap. It's another. Yeah, then we don't need to worry at all. And buys. Yeah, this already looks. Now we have 31 coffers. Okay. They might buy a province now. We have, unfortunately, we are not seeing any map makers, but I mean, in a deck of almost 40 cards, that's all right. They're already done here, it looks like. Yeah, it's just a horrible deck. And why do you trash the silver first? That doesn't really make sense, I think. I can't see the value of that. And Okay, now they get their province, I suppose. One province, yeah, and then that's not even enough scoring for them. So it should be super trivial if we, I mean, provided we draw, but. Ooh, ooh. Oh, let's grab the silver first. Action N plus buy. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we should be getting there, yeah. Yeah, now let's just draw on and. Then play the, the magnet at some point. And play map maker. I'm pretty sure we draw another bustling village soon, so let's not take. Uh, let's let's just draw with the settlers. Yeah. Right. Get the settler. Play the settler. Yeah, this is this is perfect. Um, yeah, we can play one more. I think. Yeah, hunting parties. Finding hunting parties is always good. I mean, these two are a must play. Um, I think we can trash one map maker to a scrap. So 
zero probably goes. Yeah, draw everything. Another round. Um, what are we trashing? Another map maker. Ah, oh, no card, sorry. Uh, this by uh, or all oh, that's payload. We only need the payload. Yeah, okay, seven buys. Yeah, I mean, that clear. Uh, this is 58, so we can just buy the provinces. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, yeah, we shouldn't because now we have to wait. If you want to optimize for time here, you, you don't buy um, those, but this is a nice finish, of course. Yeah. Cool, that's the mega turn. It worked out. Um, not needed though. You could have easily ended on the piles um, here. And yeah, the AI just didn't. Let's look at their deck. Yeah, this is just not good enough. Um, too many stop cards. I mean, yeah, too little draw, just hunting party and three map makers is not enough in a deck of, I mean, this is probably 20 plus cards. We had even way more and then three farmers markets. It's too many terminals as well. They relied on us buying green. Then the map makers might work, but not not in a in a kingdom like this where, yeah, you would just not green. You would continue building and then green like I did now at the very end, and that's it. Um, cool. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye. Yeah, nice finish of the month.